Welcome back, everybody. Kate here. We are going to continue to dive into the Microsoft Whiteboard. So what we're going to talk about in this video is actually your toolbar down here on the bottom. So first item is your mouse tool. So if I want to be moving things around, um, I used my finger, I tapped the mouse tool. Now you can see I can move anything around um, on the canvas. The canvas itself is an endless canvas. And I do have the option if I wanted to, I can zoom in and out. So you have those options as well. So the mouse tool is going to allow you to pan and move around as well as zoom in and out on anything that is now put on your Microsoft whiteboard. Right next to the mouse tool is going to be your annotation options. So that pen, all of the different ways that you can write. So you can go ahead, take things, say essentially at face value and select the ones that you have set. Or if you wanted, you can go ahead, select, and then click again in order to get options. So this is where you could go through. You could change the ink of your kind of top three favorite pens, which is wonderful. I can change the thickness, the translucent or opaque nature of the ink I'm working with. And of course, I can go through and change the color. So as I write, everything follows whatever my choices are. It is also matching the item, the tool, the pen that I have selected to work with. I have, again, endless canvas. I can move in and out because the last thing I touched with my finger was actually the mouse tool. So the whiteboard knows that this right now is my mouse tool and my thin point stylus is my writing utensil. Maybe I want to write with my fingers as well. Easy enough. All I have to do is tap the pen with my finger and now my fingers are also writing utensils. If I wanted to go back and zoom and move around, I just have to tell the whiteboard make my finger a mouse again. So it will do exactly what you tell it to do. You've been warned, it will do exactly what you tell it to do, but this does make it very nice for you to have one, a couple of different tools at your disposal, or just having the option to go back and forth to whatever is easiest for you. But let's go ahead, I'm gonna pop back into those annotation tools and let's keep looking to see what we have here. Uh, same thing with the highlighter, it is going to be a highlighter. There you go, you can see that in action there. If you want it to highlight with your finger, all I have to do is take my finger, tap the highlighter, and there we go. Again, same concept, just with the different tools that are in here. Popping back into our tools, the eraser. Yes, you absolutely can tap the eraser and use it, but the Microsoft whiteboard can recognize your hand as an eraser. And what I'm gonna do is as I get going, you're gonna see that little erase box grow. I'm gonna go a little bit faster and it is going to have more options in it. So as I go through, it's going to erase more. So very, very handy there. I'm gonna show that one more time. Let's go ahead. Uh, we're gonna grab our pen and then my eraser, I go through, uh, I can do the same thing. Now, maybe you have lots of different dots or you just didn't cross a line or whatever it may be. And you're like, hey, my arm is getting tired. <laughs> I don't have time to erase really all of this stuff by hand. Easy peasy, not a problem. There's always going to be another tool, hopefully to make your life a little bit easier. And what we're gonna use uh, is that lasso tool. It's the one that kind of looks like a rope. So I can tap my lasso tool. And what I can do is I can actually circle a grouping of items and then give all of these items the same activity, gesture, whatever it may be. So I can go ahead, I can hit the trash can and now it's gonna delete all of those items that I had circled with my lasso tool. So of course, just to recap, you have your mouse, your annotation options, your hand is always your eraser. And let's keep moving across the toolbar. The next item is a post-it note. Really great, you can choose whatever color. Again, if you're doing categories and things of that sort, makes it very seamless. So neat feature for you. But I'm gonna go ahead, I'm going to grab my just green sticky note here. And what I can do is I can tap my sticky note. I can make it larger and smaller if I wanted to do that. 
Now you can see I can move it around as well, which is also very, very handy. If I wanted to go in and it says type here, don't mind if I do, I did a double click. I'm going to tap my touch keyboard and now I can write and text within the sticky note. Great thing is as well, I have text options and it will automatically apply. So if I wanted this to be underlined, all I have to do is choose that in font. I can make anything italic. And of course I can go through and change if I want to have anything kind of bolded up and ready to go. Very, very handy. Uh, I always say too, anytime you see three dots, you've got additional options. Go around the block and meet the neighbors. You might want something that's in here. If I wanted to lock that post-it note so it doesn't get moved or doesn't get accidentally erased or anything like that, uh, you can lock anything, but just lots and lots of options. And of course your duplication tool is in here as well. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and keep exploring. So we talked about our mouse, our pen annotation tools, using a post-it note, the heart, is actually where you're gonna find all of your emojis. So if you wanted to go through and select anything, uh, there you go. Um, we're excited and surprised by all of the features in here, uh, but we are also very happy to be here. So you have options in here, uh, say spice it up, why not? Text options, same thing. If I wanted a text box, all I would have to do is click on the text icon and then click anywhere in my whiteboard surface of where I would like that text box to be. I grab my touch keyboard, or of course, if you have a wireless keyboard as well, you can just go ahead and text away in your text box. Options across the top, right now my text is black. If I wanted to very quickly change that color, all I have to do is tap my color wheel and I can switch the color of my text box. So uh, really nice at the, just the touch of a fingertip, to be able to personalize, switch, adjust things that you're putting in this whiteboard. Shapes are shapes, exactly what you would expect. You can type in these as well, same process. All you would be doing is just giving that a, a little click, pull up your keyboard and away you go. As options go, you can make these larger and smaller. I can lengthen. I can really move this around quite a bit, which is very handy. If I wanted to change the color of whatever shape I have grabbed, I can go ahead and do that. Uh, I can also change the outline. So all sorts of options. Seriously, touch everything. You're really not gonna mess anything up. And I highly encourage you start a whiteboard just to play with all of the tools so you can start getting comfortable on where to grab things, uh, how you like to interact with the technology but very, very handy. So I'm gonna also just shuffle that guy out of the way and we'll continue on. You may have noticed uh, down here, you have another option. It's gonna bring us back into those templates, just mind maps, things of that sort. So if you wanted to do any sort of project management development, if you're doing brainstorming, working on research, dividing up parts of a project or you know something that you may be working on with a team, uh, lots of color coding going on. So my color coding folks, this is your place to shine here, which is really amazing. But definitely just click into all of these. If you need a template, uh, you can choose them on the fly. You don't have to do it from the beginning. So as you start you know, adding things to a whiteboard, you're like, ooh, maybe one of those templates would have been good. Uh, you can still go ahead and grab those. So uh, very, very nice. The next option that you have uh, down here, I'm just going to draw a little arrow, is of course a three dot menu. Anytime you see three dots or three lines, check it out. It means you have additional options. You can find things that hopefully will make this work better for you and bring everything that you want together. So I'm going to go ahead and just give that three dot menu a tap. This is where I can import images or I can import documents into the whiteboard. So I'm actually gonna choose a document and going through, uh, I do like to point out, sometimes you'll get like a really small box and you're like, oh gosh, it's, it's hard to find things, not a problem. All you have to do is just drag the corner and you can make this larger, much easier to see. So this is your computer. You can pull 
whatever information you do need from your computer and you can go ahead and implant that in. So if I wanted to bring in, you know, a worksheet of something, I can choose both pages. Uh, again, you know, obviously this is looking at the x-ray of an elbow, whatever it may be, maybe I just want this one. Then I can go ahead and bring just that one. And you can see that it actually covered up my arrow. If I tap, whatever I've imported, this is where I can actually send things to the back and I can bring things to the front, which means if I, you know, covered anything up, I can go back and forth uh, on my backgrounds, which is very, very nice. So again, very easy to import content. Same thing is going to be for images. You can go ahead and click images. It's going to bring up your library and you absolutely can go from there. But that is your toolbar down below all of the great things that you have access to when you're using the Microsoft Whiteboard. Stay tuned for more to come and hopefully you're having a great day. Take care.